Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, August 11th, 2021. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Well, we have a very, very steamy forecast on the way with a tropical air mass that's in place that already has produced some impressive thunderstorms yesterday and more is on the way. Before we continue, I just want to say, first, if you enjoy these forecasts, please like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. And also, for this evening at 8 p.m., from 8 to about 9, we are going to have a premium live chat that's going to be for the public as well, where we're going to talk about the latest information about climate and also touch on a little bit on Tropical Storm Fred, see what's going on down there around the Dominican Republic, and we'll be talking about our weather pattern overall. Of course, if you're a premium member, you will be able to ask questions about a variety of different topics, which I will cover after I go over what the latest information from the uh, UN has said about climate change. So it should be fun. This morning, What's not fun is this steamy air mass. Temperatures range from the lower to mid 70s over the interior, mid 70s to upper 70s along the coast. It's already 79 in Wildwood. We have a weak trough that's producing some showers capable of some heavier downpours, a little bit of fog over the east end of Long Island with visibility around two miles. And we also have pockets of fog also in some of your valley areas in eastern Pennsylvania and around the Delaware River Valley, but visibility around five to six miles. So it's definitely steamy out there. And you can thank that Bermuda High, which is sending our air mass right from the Bahamas right into our neck of the woods right here. So yeah, it's steamy, it's tropical. And unfortunately, with all these troughs moving through, one after the other, we're going to be at a constant threat for these thunderstorms. Now, they'll be isolated, but if they get enough going, like yesterday, they are going to be capable of very heavy downpours, vivid lightning, strong wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, sometimes reaching severe levels over 65 miles per hour, and um, some flash flooding as well. So it's, it's not going to be pretty with these thunderstorms. So you either have to deal with the oppressive heat, with the heat index pushing over 100 degrees with all this heat and humidity, or you get a thunderstorm that takes down the heat, but you have a ton of rain to deal with, with rainfall rates over an inch per hour. So on our visible satellite picture, you can see one trough leaving. You see some low clouds. We'll see some sky cloud cover today as these low clouds give way. But we're going to watch this trough right here. We can see it really nicely here on the infrared satellite picture. As this trough approaches, do not be surprised. We get some thunderstorms starting to develop along it for this afternoon and this evening, leading to some havoc throughout the region, especially for travel conditions. So it's not going to be the best. Meanwhile, this cold front back here, this will be moving through on Saturday. If you have plans for this weekend, you want to do it Saturday morning or Sunday afternoon. Because Saturday afternoon through Sunday morning, it's not going to be pretty, especially Saturday afternoon and evening with showers and thunderstorms. Let's dive into this forecast for today. Hazy, hot, humid, muggy. We have heat advisories out. Excessive heat warnings for the urban areas in the I-95 corridor. It is going to be rough out there, okay? So if you are outdoors, use some caution because the heat index is going to feel anywhere between 95 if you're on the immediate coast to as high as 110 in some of your urban areas where that heat gets trapped. So for today, look for high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 80s on the immediate coast, upper 80s to lower 90s over the interior, and lower to mid 90s in the Delaware River Valley. Also watch out for those thunderstorms. We already went over that. Now for tomorrow morning, watch out for some fog, an isolated shower, low temperatures in the lower to mid 70s, a few upper 70s mixed into your urban areas. So you see temperatures don't drop all that much. And tomorrow afternoon, and really Friday afternoon, rinse and repeat. It's the same thing. Again, humid. Temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s along the co over the interior, mid to upper 70s along the coast for lows. High temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 80s along the immediate coast. We can get a little bit of a sea breeze. Other than that, you're talking about upper 80s to lower 90s over the interior and lower to mid 90s. Uh, a couple of upper 90s are going to be possible if you get enough sunshine in your urban areas. And you're going to talk about a heat index pushing over 100 degrees. In other words, it's going to be hot. And aside from that, with these troughs moving through, you're also going to be a threat for showers and thunderstorms, and some of them will be severe. 
Now on Saturday is when we get our strong cold front to move through in the afternoon and evening hours. Widespread showers and thunderstorms, and some of these thunderstorms will be capable of reaching severe levels. There is potential not only for hail and intense downpours and vivid lightning and strong wind gusts leading to wind damage, but there is an outside chance for an isolated tornado with these thunderstorms. So it's not going to be pretty. And by the way, the intense downpours with all this moisture in the atmosphere could lead to some flash flooding as well. Temperatures on Saturday will range from the lower to mid 70s over the interior, mid to upper 70s along the coast for lows. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 80s over along the immediate coast, upper 80s to lower 90s away from the coast. On Sunday, the cold front sinks south with showers in the morning, followed by clearing skies as you head towards the afternoon from, from north to south. So the further north you are, the faster you'll see the clearing skies, and you also notice much drier air. With low temperatures on Sunday ranging from the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior, mid 60s to lower 70s along the coast, basically as a cold front dropping south. High temperatures will range from generally the upper 70s to lower 80s over the interior and lower to mid 80s along the coast. Now for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, while we'll high pressure and control, again, we'll have to see what happens with Fred with the moisture transport and see what the future of that storm is. So this could end up being a little bit wetter forecast, especially for Wednesday. But for right now, we're going with high pressure remaining in control and that's going to lead to scattered cloud cover and with a cooler air mass in place on monday look for low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior lower to mid 60s along the coast high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s and on tuesday and wednesday look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and high temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to mid 80s throughout the region that is your forecast discussion for today of course i'm your meteorologist steven DiMartino, and as always Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tonight at 8 p.m.